There's weather and then there's weather. The weather outside is weather. Could your world use some astounding displays? Imagine floating islands or perpetually swirling storms or even regions where time itself behaves differently. What's the difference between weather and climate? You can't weather a tree, but you can climb it. <laughs> Welcome back, fellow world. World builders, I can't even say the word. Today, we're gonna take our world building to new heights as we explore atmosphere, climate, and weather patterns. Atmosphere is like the invisible guardian that wraps around our planet, shielding it from the harshness of space, creating a hospitable environment for life. It's time to give it the attention that it deserves and understand how it shapes our world. It's me. That's Amber. Welcome to Purdy Nerdy. I'm a podcaster, writer, tabletop game master, and a weather fanatic. Deliberately bad jokes. It's kind of genius. My series of real world building videos is meant to demonstrate how you can take the real world and use it for real inspiration. Let's get to it. Imagine a sky filled with ever-changing clouds, gentle breezes caressing your skin, and the feeling of anticipation in the air right before a storm. The atmospheric composition plays a vital role in shaping the possibilities and intricacies of your world. Each gas present contributes to its unique properties, affecting everything from climate to potential for life. For example, the presence of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide can lead to warmer climates, while high levels of oxygen can and support more active and energetic life forms. The composition of gases can also determine the colors of sunsets, the behavior of weather patterns, and the visibility of celestial bodies in the night sky. By considering the atmospheric composition in our world building, we can create diverse and captivating environments with their own distinct atmospheres, fostering different forms of life and offering endless possibilities for exploration and adventure. When world building climates, it's essential to consider a wide range of factors, like latitude or distance from the equator. The amount of solar energy that a place receives affects temperatures and seasons. Consider the proximity to large bodies of water, which can moderate temperatures, creating milder climates near coastlines compared to inland regions. Additionally, elevation plays a crucial role as the higher altitudes tend to have lower temperatures. Prevailing wind patterns can also shape climates, as winds from different directions can bring moisture or result in arid conditions. Other factors like ocean currents, atmospheric pressure, and the amount of land cover, think dense forests versus open desert, all contribute to the complex puzzle of your climate. And don't forget about your uncommon or odd weather phenomena, like moonbows, supercells, frost flowers, sprites, and elves. Kind of like that name. Morning glory clouds, ball lightning, noctilucent clouds, and St. Elmo's fire. No, no, not that St. Elmo's fire. It wasn't even a St. Elmo. They made it up. No, 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 not that one either. Not that one either. Cut it out. I rented St. Elmo's fire so many times. That's St. Elmo's fire. Take time to research these because honestly, they're really cool. You'll thank me later. As fantastical as those are, we could push the boundaries even further. We have the power to infuse our worlds with new technologies or a touch of magic and whimsy. Imagine floating islands or perpetually swirling storms or even regions where time itself behaves differently. As always, establish logical causes and effects for these fantastical elements. For example, if you want floating islands in your world, how are they held aloft? Is it perhaps the ancient powerful crystals that defy gravity or a unique blend of dense gases in the air? And if you want a region with unpredictable time fluctuations, maybe it's influenced by an ancient machine, an exotic element in the air, or a tear in the fabric of reality. Once you've determined the makeup of your atmosphere, climate, and weather patterns, remember to consider their impact on your civilizations. 
How are their survival strategies influenced? What cultural practices were formed? Harsh storms can give rise to religious beliefs and rituals, while temperate climates can facilitate the growth of advanced agricultural societies. The beliefs and legends of a culture can be intertwined with the forces of nature, creating a deep sense of connection and reverence. Okay, let's recap. Consider the atmospheric makeup and its impact on your world. Contemplate the factors that will define the climate in various regions. There's weather and then there's weather. Could your world use some astounding displays? If you're applying fantastical elements to your atmosphere and climate, just make sure to ground them in believability. Lastly, ponder the many ways that this is all going to affect your world, your societies, and the creatures that inhabit your world. Should I do another joke? It's another bad joke. Hey, did you hear the story about the tornado? No? There's a twist at the end. And that twist is my next episode. Oh, that's a plot twist. So be on the lookout. Until then, keep building and keep creating. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like or subscribe button. Make sure to share with your pretty nerdy friends and stick around for the blooper reel. My arm's okay right there, right? As, why can't I? Did I even look to see what this looks like? I'm still recording. <laughs> My series of real world building, <laughs> world building, build, why can't I say it right now? <sighs> Try it one more time. World building, building, <sighs> how, no. The atmospheric, I don't know what happened to my voice right there. <laughs> the atmospheric comp, Position. This I could tell already. I'm gonna have trouble with this one. The atmospheric conditions, composition, gases. I got to stretch my. I need to do like vocal exercises or something. While high. Oh my gosh. I knew that one. <laughs> Pretty sure a year from now I'm gonna create a whole blooper reel of just burps. Sorry, folks. Can't help it. By considering effects temperatures and seasons, yep, near coastlines, uh, creating milder, I, ooh, ah, how do you say that? Noctilucent? I have to look it up real quick because I don't know how to say it. Noctilucent. Noctilucent. Noct Noctilucent. And it's what we call noctilucent clouds. Okay, noctilucent. Let's try it again. I think I just spit. I don't know if that got caught on camera. It just went, anyway, okay. It just, now I gotta go back. Maybe it's influenced by a, a bu, 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 mm, mm, no. Remember to cons, harsh, sto, harsh, I'm gonna back that up a bit. Oh boy. Okay, it's time to recap. I don't know what I got, what's this doing? You guys don't want my, this, you don't want that. Define, define. I feel like I actually said that okay, but for some reason my brain shorted out. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. Live. I, this is, what culture, cultural, I can't, I'm just, I gotta be done talking today. <laughs>